newcomers, welcome. I have some new goals with some new ideas for this year, not just with painting, some things that I'm not going to be doing, some things I'm going to be doing more of. So first, with abstract painting, I'll be doing a lot more texture. I have a lot of ideas with that. I'm doing a lot more series this year, not just with my abstract painting, but also with my fluid art as well. I'm also working and kind of planning out some ideas in my head with merging the two. So doing fluid arts with abstract painting, as well as some with texture in that, um, really cool. And I'm also gonna be experimenting with more base colors. You guys know I use a lot of black and white and I love them, especially black, my signature color, along with the classic metallics. But I wanna play a little bit more with some of the majestic colors that I love. And I do have a majestic color playlist. So thank you and thank you for all your support. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for telling me that um, I'm, I inspire you. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know, I, I did post it in my community post, but I am super flattered and honored that I was listed and named one of the top 24 fluid artists on YouTube. If you wanna take a look at the details on how they described me and my artwork, go Google it. And Google my name and that will come up and um, I'm just blown away so I want to say thank you for all your support and continued support and let's keep that going in the new year starting with our new journey to 20k if you haven't guessed we're doing a swipe it's going to be a galactic swipe and I have a new heavy swiping tool also want to show my abstract lovers this gold leaf yes 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 i will be using this gorgeous reflective product in some of my abstract paintings that will be coming up very soon here i am using deco art extreme sheen aquamarine i've used it before but i haven't used it in a long long time and it's just a extremely shimmery very beautiful ocean color Anything to do with the ocean, this right here is the go-to. Um, but obviously it's a stunning color and it's very reactive. And I also have a new line. I have a few new colors from Fluid Liquitex Basics Fluid line. Love that it's fluid, great for my abstract paintings, um, which is another reason why I got it. And I love the bottles, love the bottles. So there's the Quinacridone Magenta, which is a beautiful color. And again, I use um, that in my Majestic Pores. Then I am using Yellow Okra, which is my favorite kind of yellow hue. Um, not in the yellows, but I love the deep, dark colors. Yellow Okra, deep yellow. And then I also have Payne's Gray, which is another go-to of mine. And I use that again in my Majestic Pores. Fluid Line, gorgeous. I'll link the playlist for you guys to take a look. And then I ran out and then didn't use it for a while, but I'm back with De um, Obsidian, DecoArt Extreme Sheen. And this color is not only shimmery, it has these gorgeous kind of colored reflections in it. Um, it's absolutely stunning and it creates amazing effects. And uh, if you guys have been watching me for a while, knowing I've used that, you've seen what that can do. And then because I just need you, I have a little splash of gold that I'll be using today. So let's get painting.
for a moment. All right, see some lacing. I see that gorgeous um, magenta there. I'm hoping that's why I wanted a little bit of wiggle room just to stretch it out a bit. That blend down there is gorgeous. I'm really worried that I'm not gonna have any magenta showing up here. Turned the camera, went to go get it, looked in it, decided, let me just give it a blow. Because I know that when your paints sink, they're underneath a lot of them. And that's where the magenta went. So I don't like to show you guys the back of my head when I blow, but I'm gonna just blow a little bit more and bring up some of that magenta, and uh, then I'll take you guys in for a close up. <laughs> 